Ready? So, all finger wave is, is knowing how to move that hair and create those ridges, right? So you're starting with a slight C-shaped comb. Sabrina, you can come over too since you're there. Sabrina, you can come on. So, I'm combing again slightly. It's not way back here. Yeah. Because then you'll be moving the hair too far. Yeah. So it's just a soft, subtle C. Yeah, girl, get that angle right. Oh, wow. Comb <laughs> You're using the wider teeth of the comb because you're moving the hair around. And this one is not gonna move the hair the same, sorry. So, and you're really only using the first like inch, inch and a half maybe of the comb. And I'm putting the comb flat in the head. I don't wanna be just using the tip of it and kind of lifting that hair up over, no. You're gonna put your hand flat onto the head. I'm putting pressure against the head to hold that hair down, of course. Putting the comb in nice and tight to her scalp also. And I'm just pulling straight, pretty much towards her nose. I'm gonna lay that comb flat and switch. I'm gonna put my middle finger where my finger was and my finger on top of that hair. I'm gonna lift the comb and comb this hair out. So I don't wanna just take my comb out because you need to smooth that hair from underneath that just got moved. It buckled all up, right? Still keeping that C shape. When I lift my hand, I'm going to roll it off of the head because if I just lift, I, I'm gonna pull the ridge up as well. I'm gonna go right back to where I started just a little bit further back on the head. And I'm going to continue and blend that right in. Again, changing, I'm kind of just pinching. You can pinch that rage a little bit, lift that comb. I'm pressing tight up against her head so that I'm not, as I'm combing this out, I'm not pulling that ridge out. And again, roll so that it fuses that wave to that. Now, you see my hands going from here to like up here. Because if I stay straight, I'm gonna drop too far. So I'm pretty much coming right to where she is parted with this first ridge. So I'm gonna stop right there. And then I'm gonna start on the other side. Of course you can start up here even, you know, if you want it all the way up from the part line. So I'm just putting foam up in it for now because she's again relaxed, so this is holding her just fine. So on this side, I'm going the other way. I'm gonna start pushing towards her face. So I'm gonna put my finger right to the part on your waist. and push forward, flatten, same. Comb back. This side, again, to prevent that lip, I'm, I gotta kinda like dip. And I'm gonna push. Pull up. That separated the hair too much. I don't want you don't want a hard part when you're moving the hair. I don't get no, um, sorry for my yeah. I don't put no perm right here at the tip. No, 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 just that regrowth. Okay. like really separated you just kind of go back and play with that hair a little bit so that it blends it. I don't have enough problem. Where she's thinner back here, I'm really having to kind of play around. I don't put a little too much foam work, but I can't really see. You're all right. <laughs> you done? Uh, set a timer for the 45 minutes. Yeah, from here? No, 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 just set the room. Okay, I'm going away now. Bye. She 
We didn't put drops in it. If we put the drops in it, yeah. So just leave it like that. No cap. So there's your first wave of it. So now you always start on the opening. So now I'm gonna start on this side. You can also use two combs. There's some people that will just use one comb to hold the hair down and use the other one. And just, those will give you oops, sorry, um, smaller weight. Okay, I'm getting too much separation, so I just kind of comb through it. Pushing up a little bit to really define that wig. When you're moving, if you have to move, of course, be very careful. Like, you're not going to throw her in the air and she's going to go flying and then you're going to mess all your way up. Okay, so she said she don't want to do her boots to be too light because she's a cat. So, do I want to do the cat? No. That comes to formulation, not time. And just either finish it here like this, or I could do it into a pin curl. Just place it, play with it. I don't want to have to go back. And then, okay, this I would push, push. It's going to be different on a human being, of course, because they have real ears that you can get around or have the client fold it down. But then you're still going to, well, here I'd have to start right here again. Kind of coming back right here. Okay. That's it. I got to go do what I can. See you, client.